Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here in nature, baby. And as you can see, we've got the wind swaying around, but that's what makes it even more fun. Let's just, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. You'll find your true life purpose once you stop doing this and you are like this. Now, a lot of people write to me saying they feel confused. What's my purpose, Ralph? And I'm like, I know all about that. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> I used to wake up and sometimes think to myself, I'm never gonna find my life purpose. I feel so confused right now. I don't know what to do right now. Is that what you are going through? Once I stopped doing this and started doing that, I found my life purpose. <laughs> what were those things that you stopped doing, Ralph? Once I stopped turning my back, <laughs> on the things I truly love, I found my true life purpose. Slow motion this side. You see, I've got something for you to do right now. Go and open up your old photo album. Oh yes, that picture when you're smiling when you were a toddler. What were you doing in that photo with that massive grin on your face? Where were you going? How did you feel? Look, you're smiling right now because you felt fantastic, right? And you had chocolate all over your face. Don't worry about it, okay? Many of us, once we stop turning our backs on the things we love, our life purpose just reveals itself to us in a very simple and easy way. Many times we feel guilty about really enjoying ourselves. Like I knew for a long time, I was turning my back on skating, which I really love, on ecotherapy, getting my butt into nature every single day because I was just so caught up in trying to chase a check, thinking that was my purpose and it wasn't. Because I'm all about simplicity. I love nature so much. I love surrounding myself with amazing people. I realized that is my purpose. Once you stop asking, where is my purpose? Where is my purpose? Where is my purpose? you will actually now start finding your purpose. Your purpose is so simple that it comes when you realize you are already your purpose. Slow motion this side. You were made with a marvelous design. Once you realize the simplicity of that, you start to smile and say, oh my days, it's so simple. Like you were born with things you love to do and things you don't love to do. So start doing the things you actually love to do and that will propel you into your true life purpose. Can I get a hello? <laughs> I love to do that, that's my purpose, look. <laughs> You see this tree behind me? Ah. <laughs> it's what we call a purpose tree. Everyone on planet Earth is born with a life purpose tree. From a child, you love to draw, you love to dance. We know our purpose from a very young age. It's just that sometimes our parents Say, stop doing that and go and study. And you're like, mom, I just want to do this, right? 
So, once I realized this, once you start growing your life purpose tree into a massive tree like this, so tall, you start now living your true life purpose every single day. Many times people neglect their life purpose tree, meaning they neglect their inner child. They neglect, they neglect what their inner child truly loves. So I started to realize growing up, I just loved to go to the seaside, be on the beach, skate around. I grew up skateboarding, having fun with my friends. And that's what I'm doing right now. And that is my purpose. But also, I loved animals and I loved to help people. My mom would always say I was very generous. I would actually give people my bunch of grapes. Oh, <laughs> right. So I love to help people. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm cultivating the purpose tree. Every single day I'm sharing, I'm inspiring millions. I see a lot of people with a lot of talent, but talent doesn't mean anything if you don't do anything with it. Slow motion this side. Oh my gosh, let me repeat that. Talent doesn't mean anything if you don't do anything with it. I meet a lot of people with a lot of talent. The only thing that matters is when you honor your talents and once you start placing value on your talents and once you start sharing your talents with the world. You'll find your life purpose once you stop doing this and you are like this. Once you stop looking for shortcuts, is that you? Always looking for a shortcut. I love to find shortcuts sometimes, but I realize when we talk of life purpose, when we talk of finding your life purpose, sometimes you gotta go into the trenches. Sometimes you gotta have those late nights. You're gonna start sweating, woo! The wind's gonna be swaying everywhere. There are gonna be many obstacles. Sometimes it's not gonna be all rosies, right? It's not gonna be all rosy, all peaches and cream. Sometimes you're not gonna feel like you can continue. Your legs are gonna feel weak. Then you're gonna hear a voice saying, from Ralph Smart saying, you can do it. <laughs> so I started to realize this, that there are no shortcuts. Like along my early journey, I had a dream to start inspiring millions of people. That's what I'm doing right now. And believe me, my oh my, I thought there would be shortcuts, but um, unfortunately there are no shortcuts. I had to get my butt into nature every day and start saying, can I get a hello there? But guess what? I actually love to do it. I enjoyed the process. I meet a lot of people every single day trying to find a quick way to do something. Not realizing that in finding your life purpose, if you feel lost right now, if you feel lost, confused, you gotta start respecting the process of growing your purpose tree. It takes many years to grow a tree like this, right? It's the same thing as your life purpose. You gotta work on it every single day. It's not just gonna happen overnight because your life purpose is like a tree. It grows and grows and grows. That's why every day, sometimes you got a new perspective. You got a whole new meaning. Slow motion this side. Mm. Now, can you stick with it? That's the secret. Look, you may know your life purpose. That's great, but that doesn't matter. The question is, can you stick with it? Can you believe enough to make it manifest every single day? Like I go to the beach, I go to the park every day. I'm in nature every single day. 
am sticking to my life purpose. I'm inspiring millions of people every single day. It's not gonna happen by itself. I am now stepping into radical action. I'm stepping into radical action and making it possible. I'm not saying, okay, I know my purpose is to help a lot of people and it's just going to happen if I stay in bed. Get your ass out of bed right now, says the cat down the road, <laughs> right? So part of your life purpose is the radical action needed to make your life purpose become visible to you every single day. Your life purpose is not something abstract, it's something very tangible, right? So I started to realize this, that you've got to stick with it. Even though some days are going to be harder than others, just remind yourself that in the end, you will be laughing, smiling, <laughs> and also crying because it will be emotional. It will be emotional because you will realize that you didn't give up on your life purpose. When you don't give up on your life purpose, the seas will part ways for you, right? You'll find your life purpose once you stop doing this and start doing this. <laughs> Seven day vegan challenge. Once you stop putting garbage in your body, you will find your true life purpose. So along my early journey, yes, oh yes, a little <laughs> event happened. I was putting a lot of junk food in my body at one point in my life, like buying potato chips, right? Eating refined foods. And I'm like, I don't feel good about myself. Therefore, I don't feel good about doing what I love. You see how sometimes when you eat foods, which won't help you become your greatest version, you end up not becoming your greatest version. Like, can you see the link, how your food affects your mood? And then I became a vegan, started to eat a more plant-based diet and it helped me. My few, my food, my food was now the fuel for helping me become my greatest version, right? You need that fuel that can help you get to the next level. I'm talking about the green juice. I'm talking about the ginger shots, right? I'm talking about the maca powder. I'm talking about the ginseng. I'm talking about the spirulina. I'm talking about the chlorella. I'm talking about the E3 live. I'm talking about the cacao. I'm talking about the, you catch my drift. Those superfoods, right? Which are really full of antioxidants. They're gonna make your body a machine the most powerful machine in the world because it's organic, right? And it can take you to infinite heights. And that's how you really start becoming more confident to go for your dreams and live your life purpose every single day. You look better, you feel better inside. So you start producing, you start producing, you start producing better things on the outside when you feel better on the inside because of what you are eating. Slow motion this side. You'll find your life purpose once you stop doing this. Once you stop settling. I meet a lot of people who settle all the time. They're like, look, Ralph, I don't like my job, but I'm just gonna stay here, right? You don't have to settle. Life is not something happening to you. Life is responding to you your words, your thoughts, your beliefs, your actions. If you keep saying I'm a victim, you will never find your life purpose. You gotta move from victim to victor. Victim to victor, right? Victim to victor, right? So realize this, that Life is not something happening to you. You are not a victim of circumstance. If you don't like your job, change and find a better one that actually makes you more happy. What helped me find my true life purpose? Like Alan Watts says all the time, right? What 
Alan Watts said once, like our life purpose is so obvious, but we spend our whole lives trying to make it more complicated than it actually is. Our life purpose could just be to, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. It's that simple, right? Many times you are gonna meet friends and family who have your life set out for you. So we end up living other people's lives. You will find your life purpose once you stop trying to look for a path or live the path other people want you to live and you start now creating your own path. If you don't see a path, create one. If you don't see a road, make one, right? If you don't see a trail, make one. Right, ever gone into nature and it's just full of bushes? You gotta make your own trail, right? So make your own path. And that's really how your life purpose will start manifesting in your life. A lot of people will tell you, you can't do this. You can't do that. I call them the dream killers. Stay away from those people. You don't need those people in your life. Run, run Forrest, run. Surround yourself with the dream chasers and the dream builders. Can I get a hello? <laughs> You'll find your true life purpose when you dedicate time to doing what you love every single day, when you make the investment every single day in your true gifts and talents. Once you start investing in what makes you happy, I've had to buy equipment, right? Cost thousands, but I love to do this. I love to share, I love to help people. I love to do it, right? That's why I'm living my purpose every single day and I'm gonna be doing it for the rest of my life. Can we please get a moment of silence? That's better. <laughs> Look, it's a choice. There's a lot of wind swaying around in nature, but I love to come out into nature because it's healthy. It's very healthy to be in natural environments every single day, right? When you start making investments in what you love, your true life purpose will manifest. Yes, sometimes it's gonna be hard, when you realize failure is only a stepping stone to help you become your greatest version, you will find your true life purpose. Once you stop becoming afraid of failing, there is no failure. Yes, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes, even once you have found your true life purpose, right? That's why a lot of people give up. They're like, oh my gosh, I, I fell down once. That's definitely not my, that's definitely not my true life purpose because I made a little mistake, Ralph. Look, I'm here to tell you, a master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. Slow motion this side. You see, an interesting thing about making mistakes is that you find new ways how to not do something. And it's like with the life purpose, like I grew up producing, I make a lot of music as well. And I was producing, I was producing sometimes for the whole day. And that was my life purpose and I made a lot of mistakes, but at the same time, I found new ways to create new styles of music because I was making a lot of mistakes, right? <laughs> Same thing as making videos, right? Sometimes I forgot to hit record. Then I reminded myself, okay, I'm gonna hit record next time, right? You will find your life purpose once you stop surrounding yourself with people who don't have your best interests at hand. And once you start spending time with people who actually inspire you, who are like people you want to be like, right? Who show you that it's possible. 
slow motion this side. So I actually found my life purpose because I used to hang around people who were already living theirs. And I stopped hanging around. I stopped hanging around people who were miserable with their lives, right? I stopped hanging around people who were miserable with their lives and started to hang around people who actually loved their life every single day, right? And the more you do that, the more you realize, actually, I can live my purpose every single day. Once again, you can make a path and you can make it possible. Your life purpose is like this purpose tree. You got to cultivate it. You got to water it every single day. And then before you know it, you'll be living your life purpose and saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> we are out here in the heart of nature. It's such a beautiful day. Much love to you, beautiful deep divers. Let's just Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day. We're out here, baby. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs>